One of the most commonly asked questions that we get is how to keep my espresso machine running smoothly. And our answer to that great question often comes back to water. Water is incredibly important and it goes far beyond just simply brewing good tasting espresso. It's also about what you're putting through the system of your espresso machine. Most of the focus tends to be on the coffee itself, the brew recipe, all of those things. And we forget to talk about water and what it's doing inside of our espresso machine, as well as to the taste of our espresso. Water can seem like a big mystery to a lot of us. It's clear, isn't it clean? But that's not true. Your water probably tastes great, but it doesn't mean that it's great for your espresso machine. Espresso machines are a little bit more particular. Putting non-recommended water into your espresso machine can cause quite a lot of damage. So we wanna talk about what it means to put good water into your espresso machine. You need some minerality for your espresso to taste good, but there's a tipping point and what you're running through your machine currently could be too hard. We're trying to get water that's balanced. We don't want it too mineralized and we don't want it to have zero minerals in it. Zero minerals in the water is distilled water and that's gonna leach things out of the metal in our machine as well as not let our machine detect that there's anything there. This is a common culprit for the reservoir empty alert, whereas too mineralized water, water that has a really high TDS or is hard, will build up in places and especially small places such as the flow restrictor. Check out the La Marzocco water guidelines and make sure your water is fitting into these guidelines through testing or reaching out to your local water treatment center to get results before you're putting this water into your espresso machine. Lucky for us, there are some easy options that we can choose. So here's the out of the box, easiest solution for water. And if you're in the US, that's gonna be to buy bottled water. We have two recommended bottled water options, Crystal Geyser or Poland Spring. But if you're getting Crystal Geyser, you wanna make sure it's bottled in either California or South Carolina. So you can check the label to make sure it's meeting those requirements. If you're having trouble finding those two bottled water options in particular, you can reach out to us and we might have some recommendations for you in your area about what you might do to have distilled water and add certain minerals to it to make a good blend. But you wanna be careful not to make your water too hard. It's better to be too soft than too hard. If you're more in depth into water chemistry, there's some more complicated options that you can choose. Choosing a water filtration system is an advanced method requiring a dive into the world of water chemistry. Whether it's for home or light commercial, coffee pop-up, something like that, work with a local technician on what kind of water filtration system you should get that's working well for maybe other people in that area. And they'll kind of know a good place to start. A local technician will also be able to help you install a water filtration system and upkeep it because you regularly have to change out the filters in them. You might've heard of reverse osmosis. This system, if it's done correctly, will take everything out of the water and then remineralize it. But this can be difficult to do or to know what you're adding in or what to add in. So it's not always the easiest option to choose. House filters don't always filter out for the right things. It might make your water taste good in your house, but it's still not right for your espresso machine. So you could always test the water coming out of your house filter and see but if you're not regularly upkeeping that filtration system, making sure that it's dialed in for espresso water, then it's not gonna be doing what you need it to do. Always use a filtration pitcher with tap water and only use tap water if you're sure that the water is within the specs. The way you can tell what you need to change about the water is gonna be to compare them with the Lumberzoco water treatment specs that we have. Your machine's gonna come with one small test kit, so if you're interested in testing the water that you have, that you feel like it's pretty close, go right ahead. But no matter what your water test results are, even if they say they're near perfect, you still need to be running your water through some type of water filtration, something like a Soma pitcher, but that's also only for the lucky places. We wanna make sure you're putting the correct water in your machine. It's gonna help you make awesome coffee and help us help you keep making awesome coffee. Remember, we're always here to help, so please feel free to reach out if you have any questions about water.